put out of office <laughs> by mainly the Tanzanians and with the help of some Ugandans. And it has gone on like that. The current leader, Mr. Museven, is also most likely to be bombed. Do you want to say like that? Well, he bombed his way into office and we were together at that time. So I know about that bombing <laughs> that brought him to office in 1986. Yes. And he has been in power now for nearly uh, 40 years. So that is the history of Uganda. Mm. That whoever, since Uganda was created, Uganda was created by force, of guns, it has been maintained. Whoever leads it, leads it by force of guns since it was created. That is the reality of Uganda. It is a different reality in Kenya. It is a different reality in South Africa. There are different realities. Now, uh, what does this mean? And I want our listeners to listen carefully to understand the problem yeah. that we face. Because I've said that Uganda is a creation of force and it has been led by force. I was part of the force that took power in 1986. On the 26th of January that year, we read what was called the proclamation, which said that on this day, the National Resistance Army has captured the power of state of Uganda. The army issued a declaration that it had captured the power of the state of Uganda. That declaration was called Legal Notes Number no. 1 of 1986. And that it had vested it, the power it had captured, that it had vested it in the national resistance movement. So power was captured by the army and vested in the movement. I was both part of the army and part of that movement. And that that power will be held for only four years. And that after four years, the transition will be over, power will be handed to the people of Uganda. That was the arrangement. Of course, power has never gone back to the people of Uganda. <laughs> And it was the failure of that transition that was promised which caused me to break with the NRM. Because actually, I was at the top of managing that transition. I was the national political commissioner and the minister in the president's office. And the role of the national political commissioner was to oversee the politics of the transition. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe let me just uh, okay. uh, reach it. At a, the role of the NPC was to manage the transition. And while NPC, I realized that that transition was not going well that uh, actually, rather than preparing to hand over power to the people of Uganda, I realized that power of the movement, which had been vested in the movement, was actually being grabbed by the leader of the movement. So the movement was not the one exercising power. The power that had been invested in the movement 
had been also grabbed by the leader of the movement, Mr. Museveni, had grabbed the power of the movement. So meetings of the movement were not happening. Only one man was making decisions. The army too was captured. The army was not functioning as it should. The army had also been captured by the leader of the army, who was also the same leader. So the movement, the army were all captured. And that's what caused me to disagree with the Museveni because I was at the I was charged with overseeing the transition that was going wrong. And when I started talking, I was instead uh, dismissed. So I left government in 1990. When it was, 1990 was supposed to be the end of the transition, when power was supposed to be handed over to the people. So after the four years, I was sacked from government. And those problems continued because one man had captured the power of the movement and of the army. And this was the reason I wrote a document in 1999 talking about how NRM had been captured. The document that caused my uh, problems of being court martialed. So, the problems the country experiences, including the problems that the parties you are asking about experience, come from that time of capturing the whole state, capturing all institutions of the state, including the military that had taken power. And I'm going to explain to you how that has developed since that time. And I'm going to explain to you how that has developed since that time. And I'm going to explain to you how that has Uganda the first time in Uganda. Mama is going to explain to you Kenya, I mean, India, also the South Africa. I'm going to explain to you how that has developed since that time. Aja ikuwa sana usikini tekeche na apoloda. Aani hunda kunibe. Ewe lilo itunga. Esa beta abubu gani aitopu. Kwenye da abubu. After 19, I mean 86. Obukwa ni ajore. Osodi atukotongino NRA. Odo akakani na Mr. Museveni. No buda waina katio nisi. Esuli puwa mesekin. Baibudo kwa nelo si akwa. Anin enere nesi baina kita inesi kapa political commission angoni lo IIT politics. Arucho kiti is, is, is civilian kode ajijore kepu gaya na jokani. Etama nesi ayao na kekironu epo. Bekwani ya angoni na pakina epolo, emama seo. Bia ido kwa na kekironu. Alo skineta anu anga reto ni oitui mame tope tai. Mepu gaya na jokani arai democracy, arai etopolo et, 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 akwapu. Ara inaki na boiso ni po Adumu ni borolu abeti Iwi borongu nukere Opoto na angata na yumi 1990 Hire iki ni nesi bebe Esi kwa ni mamibu ni Apedo na suwa mkapu gani yini Osodo adumu nesi Alachu ne document Lo apo lake gogo Kina kama nara kode Aimena puganamu sewe ni na anako pani Ejai Ayongo Apedo sune tunga nane Opo ni kamara yi Ajore Osode pate, kieraja si akakani na Museven. Osoda yanga neso court martial, aro court monilo ajore. Eto osa nesi, anu nesi, ape ela lachula kekilo na omite si bebarasinu abeiti. Inete dabu nesi, bepuga elo ejoko, mamebuni achao na no Uganda. Na ara ijata roo ni ara tutubena anu ipo, opono tuko kina eteso, Lango, acholi kabu gisu. Imu sugun, eta raunu akwapu, adope ni urota Uganda. Kubuda bubwanga kwa nikika rakai saka nyari, ya utoni, eji adumu ni puga ikini mbona rai independence. Obwanga iki Uganda ujau. 
So mamu Uganda ajo ipedo re tutubu nesiko de Rwanda, e tutubu nesiko de South Africa, ara re e tutubu nesiko de India. E gite gite ponelo e, e, e jara kwa pike kepu gai. So kwenye neti nesibu nwe. Bala ngiri na ngini na ele lomuto political party. E geta lomu nukolo sekine ajari pugai. E mama pa kine du mutori Uganda. Ara hi aseone a patana. E peaceful um, hanova opawe mami. Akige unobote. Obu ini in, 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 mamu tesa. Ande mar. Osodi amin. Yente suda bubu amin ele masa ikatoro. Osodi kwe salo sito itui. Eti jeja kaito bote. O mito za kwe sibu nbe. E mbe lose kwe se nyakunu. E, 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 Puga ya joka na re freedom Aina kini tunga So inerit nesi bonbe Mame patana Ageun independence Mamo ni ido mot Epone le tunga Epuga kini bonik Osota anyo na los kine tena E joka pugan So nesi nu Hitam tamtemuro Yeah so The starting of our problems Started with the capture Of all our institutions we should not think that, for example, the Bank of Uganda is our bank. It is a bank of Museveni. Because he has captured all the institutions. The Uganda police is not Uganda police. It's a Museveni police. The Uganda People's Defense Forces is not a defense forces for us. It is a defense force. So all these institutions were captured. Having captured the institution, the next thing that was captured was our economy, our wealth. You remember Uganda had assets, materials, goods, wealth that we owned jointly, which included the factories, which included the banks, which included the uh, transport uh, companies, Uganda Airlines, Uganda Railways, Uganda Bus Company, Uganda what? All these were owned jointly by us. Uganda Hotels, uh, here in the Soroti, there, there was Soroti Hotel, there was Tororo Rock Hotel, there was uh, Mbale uh, Ergon Hotel, the Ginger Crested Cranes, uh, those Sheraton hotels, Nile Hotel, we are all, every town had Uganda hotels, which were all our properties. Uganda Commercial Bank had a, a, a bank everywhere in Uganda. All these things were captured and taken and personalized, privatized to themselves, became personal property. They said they were selling them so that they... Uh, the, the, the money is used elsewhere. No Ugandan <laughs> has ever been told what became of those properties once they were sold. How much came out of it? Where is it? All of it was simply privatized to the same people. The only thing that has remained contentious is land. And in the Constituent Assembly, Mr. Museveni tried a lot to give power over land to the government that they can take over power, land. That was the only thing I think that the Constituent Assembly saved. They said no land belongs to the people. Up to now there is an effort to change that law, but it has still failed. So now land is also being grabbed by force. Not, right, not, right, doctor, let not me first go for a time check, then I will bring you back again to continue from there. So, let me take this point to... Long for me, I, I explained about the land and the sale of the property. 
Because that one is that is what concerned yeah, yeah. yeah. that is the it's that is life. life. But uh, it's good to give a background. Mm. Yeah, it makes them understand the whole situation. So the next step is where are we? Mm. Mm. Of course out of poverty. <laughs> <laughs> and where are we going? The lake has been sold. Maybe they we haven't scheduled yet, but it will be after West I think when we come on 4th July, we will continue. Mm. They can host. They can. They just come to do the public address the system the day before. Yeah. For them, they love markets. So the advanced team should be there the day. <laughs> The same person who was here, some guy, she the one money from the radio. Yeah, she shall always navigate and appear. So tomorrow we shall have this as a bulletin in, in, in this local radios. Then mm. around 7 p.m. to 9, it will be the roundup. Eh? Mm. <coughs> 921.5 Kyoga Veritas, the most reliable voice. And in the studio, we are discussing a lot of uh, issues concerning or pertaining the development of our country, Uganda. And uh, in the studio here, we have a group of seasoned politicians, uh, and uh, one of who is Dr. Kisa Besije, who has come to share with us a lot of issues. Uh, before we went for that uh, brief commercial, he was uh, raising a very important point. But earlier on, I'd already asked him that the differences in political parties, including NRM, they have their force, there is a force behind. The FDC uh, initially was a very strong party in this country. Now we are seeing two FDCs, the one that sits in the headquarters of Najana Kumbi and the other one that sits in the, in the Katonga roadside, the functions, all these things. But we are saying, where are these things leading us in this country? Are we creating room for NRM to overpower us, the citizens? including political parties, the opposition political parties, they are fighting each other. Yes, let me bring back doctor who was raising a very important point there, who was saying this country needs something different. Yes, so John, what I was explaining, and it's important that our listeners understand where all this comes from. I told you that it starts with the use of force, to capture power, the use of power to capture wealth, to capture the economy. And I've told you that everything in our economy is now captured 
whether I, uh, those which belonged to all of us together were sold and privatized to themselves. I've told you that um, uh, even now lakes, you find the lake is privatized. Uh, people who were depending on the lake to fish and get and look after themselves cannot. Uh, people have been tortured and killed over the lakes that they depended on for their livelihoods again. And I talked about the privatizing lakes a long time ago. They even wanted to take me to court. That time I was in a, in a Molata talking about what was happening uh, to the people of Molata over their lake, this same lake of Choga. Uh, so, the NR, Mr. Museveni, who captured NRM, who captured all institutions, captured the economy, and has been imposing high taxes to the people of Uganda, extracting whatever you earn, whatever you get, he siphons it through taxes and it's taken away. The result of all that is what we are seeing today and dealing with. First of all, massive poverty all over the country. In other words, poverty has been turned into a weapon. People are controlled by poverty, which has been constructed deliberately once you are poor and you are on the wall, they give you 1,000, you clap and do what the one who has given you uh, wants you to do. So, that was the first phase of state capture. When we came out and protested and fought, started a strong fight in the elections from 2001, then another tool was brought in or two tools were released. First of all, money. Commercialize politics. Buy people to do what you want because they have already been made poor. So money started being powered in elections. Secondly, militarize the elections. So when there is an election, it's like there is an outbreak of war. You find armored vehicles, tanks, what? Mambas moving all over the place, deployment of soldiers, the military, the police, so that people fear and do what they want. And as I have already talked about the institutions that manage elections, the Electoral Commission, which is supposed to control all these things, is not the Uganda Electoral Commission, it's M7 Electoral Commission. So, I personally have participated in four elections, and that's why whenever I'm in Teso, I feel so privileged, because when I moved out of the movement and started opposing it, the people in our people in Western Uganda had not seen what I was saying. They did not see it. The people in Buganda were not seeing it because Museveni was frightening them, saying, you know, we liberated you from these people of the North. We liberated you from the killers of UNLA. Uh, he, he was bringing photographs of scars. We, they will come back and finish you. So he was making himself a hero of southern Uganda, against northern and eastern Uganda. So when I challenged him, the warmth and support that I received the most and which I needed, because they were hounding me, was from Teso here, from Acholi, from Lango. And that's why I tell you, even now, when I am in a Teso, I sleep soundly because of the love that I have enjoyed here, the support that we enjoyed because of what was happening in those elections. Now, uh, I've told you we have since contested four times. These four things have multiplied many times. The commercialization, 
of elections, the militarization, and the control of the institutions that manage elections. And uh, these are what have resulted into what is happening in political parties now, which I am going to explain to you. Maybe my brother can translate. <laughs> Ponugulara iborolu ipokate airline o Uganda kate agali osodi ame minichori ni kate leki ubore ne kioga ada ona gula inete dabo bone si bonbe eja seo ne Uganda esubiti bale rai e battlefield eji ele pol eja jore eja ipolis eja idobo kwani na lomu ene 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 si be guet ne sa seo iru ana ngon. Ada unese gweni nesi ano egli peso ase unese kapa president. Kwenye ningo siti na epol, itoso mai enare ni kapul. Ado ketai iti na epol, osode komisyon ngon le ya iti nesi kapi komisyon ilo o Uganda. Mame rai no Uganda, erai ngone komisyon a president musebi. Le limonora nesi ase one kokotai, esu ni nesi. Nesi, 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 nesi. Be CDK President Museveni amumu. Ichito soma hii, oo, ni lwa teso, lwa lango, lwa choli. Ka ngunu da West Nye ni lwa mtu rami. Uli mwoni kini ngunu be, e, pote ngunu, are so. So, aja inesi, ama hiki ni tunga kui, lu, obuke, chebe mami tese roko. Era si ngunu da joka kado sodi choli na mame roko. Udumu inesi, e supporti le langir, lwa ibecho kina, anyo na no teso, Lango acholi. Inesu dabu bonesi. Bicha ni luwa ya puga nine. Uganda. Aina kitu nga. Achamu nu isirigini kate ilu kumiti. Isirigini ilu kumiti boni. E sikuwe la raja koni apedori. Nara ikuwa niba kurulu. Opono lemara ichoman. Luwa ya uneteti aswamu nene jato muna. Alemari ngunu. Ibu boroda kere. Aguilari ketu nga. Oso deke saja sabu ndabu ni mbika pululu. Elosi yo kwa neto soma duke ya Uganda. Kukonyi borolu agwela rikati Bank of Uganda. E rai e kalamu sevi. Ese ya ite banka ngolo Uganda. Mambo be rai e chetwene ya ite banka ngoni. E narita ikuwa ni airlines ili dege ngoni. E jasike sa kui neni. Oso di business silu ipu kere. Mamu Uganda boka pa kwa. In meda ika pe country. Ntua neoni. Kwenye lipiti donesi, itunga kere, ale mari, ale tiaka tiaka, utupite tete, ale minateke rikoni, iriagi koni, oso ni lomuto rijo. Bala nesi nera, be mamu sebe ne pedori, aja unu, aseo, umama jore, umame ipolis, umame tisirigin. Si lipiti nesi itunga lu, ipu, amame siki nda bumbe teso, eja inesi teso kapa nesi doktor besi ye, eja ineso re, Mamu ni seja hii awai, ipiru nesi ajo inapakina. Kunyaki ronu, utakwa ni nesi etamitama, atiaka atiaka ngini na political parties, arai political organizations. Eraka na musevi, eseja hii toma, aikori kapun, anuwa inayi tunga, atiaka atiaka. Anu, aya unibore baka ikamu abumsugun, divide and rule, aitiake esu. Dodo kwa nesi pegeta ne, eya unesa seo, anaribu nesi asa seo. Sakiro nguna kutonga maiki na esate kera bongo na arayi ngole julia kutonga esatu piti joko nwili mni nesi esu na sipo eni ngo keju laki na esu joki ito ikito saki. Alright, thank you for translation. Yes, let me get back to doctor. You wanted to raise a point which I asked earlier, the differences, the divisions among political parties. Yes, I have just been laying the background so that our listeners can understand the environment in which political parties have been formed and are functioning. That political parties were formed in an environment where there is no freedom. Mm. Where, in fact, there is uh, a state of terror 
that is used against the members of our parties. I, I think anybody who lives in uh, Soroti or Teso will know how much tear gas has been powered in these towns whenever we are here. <laughs> uh, to, to make sure that you don't function. Uh, so that is the background in which political parties have been formed, where there is a lot of fear that is driven by the militarized government. Two, it has, they have been formed in an environment where politics has been commercialized in order to be elected, you must spend a lot of money to get elected. And yet, the population has been made poor. So, you need a lot of money to be elected. The people are poor, they need the money. And the only one with the money is the one who captured the economy of their country. The other environments that have been created is that the capture of the state also in many ways led to capture of the media, media houses. First of all, the state itself owns very many media houses, which are influential. UBC, U, uh, uh, Radio Uganda, uh, Bukede, Vision Group of Companies, Etop, uh, Lumuli, Rupini, uh, many media houses that are controlled by the state through which they communicate information aimed at confusing the population. And of course, they have hired very many people to keep on the radios speaking for them. Uh, that's the work of the RDCs. I think from this year they have increased. I heard them saying they are going to have three deputies uh, of the RDCs everywhere. And that is... Uh, what they have been using. So, the political parties to survive in this environment, they have to think very hard and act smart. Because political parties of the opposition have no money. If they have to contest, they must contest and structure their campaigns in a manner <coughs> where they will have to get their whatever they get without use of money. They must fight against the terror of the regime and the propaganda and the divide and rule that the government employs. And that's why some of us after the 2011 elections, thought we must have a different approach. And we started, and, and you remember after the 2011 elections, I also stepped down from the leadership of the party. I had just been elected in 2010 for my second term of the party, but I stepped down because I realized that what was needed in the country was a different approach. So I stepped down from Najana Nkumbi, and that's when Katonga actually started. Katonga started in 2012. I left the party and went to Katonga, not to do party work, no, but to now do start a resistance that was not based on party activities. A resistance which would unite all people that are being terrorized and marginalized. 
And that's maybe, why... Maybe before, did you go there as FDC in 2012? Did you go as FDC or it was not on the agenda to go there as, as, as the FDC? I went there with the FDC complete knowledge. And what I was going to do was also going to involve them. It was not to, 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 to act outside what the FDC was doing. But the reason we set up Katonga was that we now start a resistance that was not partisan. Mm. And in Katonga, in fact, at that time, we created a pressure group that was called Activists for Change, A4C. And Activists for Change was the one that conducted the demonstrations that were popularly known as walk to work demonstrations. Yes. They we, were we, being organized from Katonga and involving all parties. It was not just FDC, they were involving all parties. In fact, the coordinator of the walk to work campaign was from DP, Matthias Mpuga, mm. was the coordinator of the walk to work. So, there was a difference in strategy adopted from 2011. From just not having or focusing only on elections, but focusing on what we call defiance or resistance against what the government was doing. Yes. In other ways, other than elections. Those of you who have been following the party work, some of our leaders in the party did not like the defiance. In fact, opposed it. And we had a big debate in FDC between defiance and what was called party structure, structure building approach. So in other words, for us, the first division, or the first uh, dis disagreement, if you like, or contradiction, was on the strategy for the party to use. And another Nessie, but you only see now, it's a point to all of it, and it's a point to all of it. It's a point to Bunesi EM from the party active. So, Rosine Saduku Nukwani, a key party of Katonga, Abu City Nayang Yanesi, and Waru Chokini party, Kerelo Uganda, and Kapalu, a Perorete, a G, Adomona Pedore, and the Tam Tamiti Nessi, Bessa Patala Yait, a Ruchokit, and Losirka Kayaswam, a Kekel Rai Masias in Ponga, and a Lomto Democratic Party. Ani teti mbonesi da bonbe, bea kamara pugani. Mame rai, e, e, dupe pate bone pedori. E kotitunga li po, o oja se toa mamu. Inere da bonesi, bi puwa kakiro nu e, e suwa ma pugani. Nua yao ne e, 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 propaganda. Ara yao na ara disi su li po, enero radio. Ijitoso mae kwa nike radio no unu lu, e, e tachesi kapun. O anani nere nese topi. Nesi dabu e television mwole baka UBC. Dodi tunga unu NL. Akironi pobe ya unu kwa nese PDM. Are mame sise unete mama se uini. Ija unu. Ini neta dabu nesi be etapasi lu. Aijene na itunga. Mami tunga li puwe pedo se bobo. Aomom. Na imu likikiri. Anwe kamara pugani. Nara kwa ne radio li gweta nje oke. Okay, baka ibe baya unu mioga. Baya unu PDM. Aya unu mio. Oina ini tunga. Atu pidido kwa ninu, e utasi kwe nere. Kwenye nese, balabo nesi, ake kiro kere ne suwama inesi, kapa, eh, ame defiance, sara ingunu lu, amenge likitosa kisele, ajene pati ngoni le FDC. Aruchokina kwesi, ojeni labo nbe katonga da, jasiki atunga lu agogong, anwega ngaki ni kwesi, au kwereja kaiti musewe na pugani. Itamta miti nguda, esi labo bombe, beti iji, Enare, mamera ibore patana. Ekotojo titi, 
Yeah, man. Thank you, Honorable Chole, for that translation. You know, uh, the other question uh, before uh, b before actually bring in Dr. Uh, 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 back on air is that um, the, the cooperation between political parties, it is the old ideology that Katonga existed. Now that Katonga is there, the other political parties seem to have left. They have left Katonga because the common goal there was uh, to fight for a common change, to fight for an enemy. Now that they have left, the NUF has left. The, you talked about Matthias Impunga, who's also on the other side. The majority of the leaders have, have actually left. Now that you have remained with a few individuals, with also the chaos between the Katonga and um, Kumbi. What do you think can actually unite political parties, starting with the Najana Kumbi? Because he went there not as a party, but as a group to create pressure. Yes. I will come back to you after the short commercial break briefly. Are we going up to 10? Yeah. Mm. No worries. Oile, notify Odeke not to come. Let him come at 10. Okay. Oh, you send Odeke the message to, um, 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 to come at 10. Not now. Okay. We had another show mm. uh, which was meant to start mm. like just after nine. Mm. Is it a talk show? It's just love. Not <laughs> <laughs> just love. Love is a big thing. <laughs> the other day, doctor was dancing it's with the, his wife. It's the biggest eh? commodity in Uganda. No, uh, the, the video eh, that has become too popular on my TikTok is when you are dancing with women. <laughs> even, even in in the three days, eh, I have more than 50,000 views. With many messages, yes. <laughs> no, yes eh? <laughs> We are happy when he's in love. Eh? <laughs> but when you talk about this hard talk, eh? people hard, people see her, they don't want to comment, they don't want to like. Yeah. They think, you know, the dictator has scared people. Yeah, people. They think even they see when you're liking. Eh? Mm. So people of fear. Mm. Mm. 
Kalau ya sih kira itu sama kisahkan jangan ajokan. Talk about the fear. You see what we witness this day. Usually, an average of the journalists that cover the events here can be like 25. Even fail to pay them. Then another team invested a lot of money. Make sure that you don't get the covering. Even them, they wanted the same, the same airtime. They wanted to pay. We talk about their cost, but we insist that they don't want to pay. They don't want to pay today. 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 So, it was a plot to actually stop. They make you leave the region. Without speaking to the people, yeah. It's a big battle. And they have a little bit of money to buy a piece of this media. It will seem like it's a regional fight, a tribal scene. Somehow, in other areas, they are missing goals. We really need to do a lot of transforming the mind. Countering the current day. But you see, it's suicidal to isolate yourself as a tribe, eh? that it we. It is, but uh, for them, you know, this migration, they are also uh, journalists who did certificate made from home, home card, and they also weigh your capacity. And, you know, they weigh your capacity. They may be friend you like uh, their personal friends, somebody, mm -hmm. you have a barrier, until they capture. Mm -hmm. But uh, <coughs> what we shall do tomorrow is, is to break down mm -hmm. those events. Eh? Then we, we send, mm -hmm. you can always bypass mm -hmm. the reporter. Mm -hmm. You deal with it. Yeah, of course, I will get something good. Eh? You will get something good. You will want to see. You will want to So, it's just so. 91.5 Kyoka Veritas, the most level station, is the radio that you are listening to. And in the studio, we are still discussing very, very vital issues here. And uh, as I told you earlier on, like you have heard, I uh, have Dr. Kisa Besije, who is a seasoned politician, is today sharing with us those issues that we want to know. And uh, before we went for that commercial break, uh, it was uh, 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 erasing a point, a point uh, concerning... The, the political parties, the genesis of the political parties, their ideologies. Now, recently there was the issue of the dirty money. Uh, they, they termed this as, as dirty money, that the team from Najana Kumbi had, uh, had actually gotten money from the NRM party or as government. And um, 
the other reason that they went to uh, why they why he called the team members some group members and they went to Najana Kumbi was that they wanted to cause pressure that he uh, was all uh, looking for change. Now that we are in this situation, very 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 many uh, political parties like in Buganda, a, a nook seems to be uh, uh, taking the ground and some other parts of the country. There are these other organizations like here, the Teso Panza also seems to be popularly known here. Now, when do we hope to fight for our enemy? If, you, if I can also say. Well, thank you very much. You, you are mixing up many issues because I hadn't finished explaining to you what has happened within the FDC, uh, which I think I should finish. So I first told you, and you I think... You can first finish, then yeah, it's important I'm only that, giving that so that you have that, that, uh, yeah, that in your mind. Yeah, that. It's important that people understand where all this came from. Mm. So I told you that because of the uh, structure that the regime had created, the militarization, the commercialization, the uh, propaganda machine they had built, the, pass, pa the capture of the economy, the impoverishment of the population, we had come to the conclusion, some of us, that we needed to change approach, change the strategy from just elections to actually fighting outside elections, which is what is defiance. And that caused the first cleavage within the party, General Muntu arguing for maintaining the building of the party and using the party to fight, and thus advocating or insisting on uh, using a fight outside the elections, which would also include uniting the different political formations. The important thing our listeners should understand is that contradictions or differences in parties are not only normal, they are healthy to have differences. The difference is how you manage them. So that difference between our line of defiance and General Muntu's line was managed, it never caused the division of the party. We would argue, present arguments to the delegates conference, to the organs of the party, and the party would decide. And once they decide, we go with that. So, uh, you know, when I stepped down, the election that uh, was held to replace my successor, General Muntu, whom I had contested with three times, actually won uh, the election. And you know our elections are very transparent. They are held in front of all cameras. So General Muntu won, and Nandala Mafabi, whom he was contesting against, congratulated him and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, accepted uh, the, 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 the loss. General Muntu then ran for one term. And in the election that, that followed, that's when our brother Amriat contested against General Muntu. And, and this is uh, important that people understand the dynamics because now there is a lot of propaganda around all this. Uh, some people uh, think that maybe some of us uh, did not support Amuliat or, ha or have worked against him not to succeed. But first of all, in that election that happened in 2017, I, there was also a campaign to fight the change in the constitution. That's when Museveni was trying to remove the term limits. And so I joined the campaign 
the, the age limit. And so I joined the campaign of Vamuriat mainly to talk about against the age limit, remove, uh, changing the constitution. And we moved uh, together around Uganda. And we came through Teso. And General Muntu has used that to say that I, am, I was the problem why he lost, that I fought him. Uh, now, in that election, even when we came to Teso, the Teso leaders, all of them, were not supporting Gamuria, the one I came with. They were not. Mm. Yes. All of them, whether it was uh, uh, the, 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 the MPs then, uh, there was, uh, of course, uh, Alasso, there was uh, Osege, there was Okupa, there was uh, 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 Ariko, had he been, uh, Ariko, the, all, everybody, Ochola, <laughs> all of them were not supporting uh, Amuriat, whom now they, they claim to be, you know, some of them. <laughs> Mm. So, uh, but uh, the important thing why we became close to Amuriat is that when he lost the election in 2016, he became very active in Katonga on the defiance platform. In fact, he was the kingpin. He was our central person in charge of security at Katonga from 2016 until he became party president. Even after he became party president, he remained active at Katonga because he held a lot of our information. The most sensitive information we had at Katonga, he was the keeper of it. And uh, as I have said, that is, uh, and, and frankly, we, we thought that if we have Amriat as party president who was a defiance supporter and like Genomuntu who had a different approach we thought that the defiance strategy would now gain momentum uh, and, uh, and, and do greater things because you see uh, as I have told you, one of the problems indeed that uh, all this politics has is that um, uh, even at Katonga, we fight on our own, uh, but we don't have institutional support, and we lacked institutional support. Uh, the party is an institution. When I led FDC, we did not receive money from government. But during the leadership of Genomuntu, the policy of government changed and they started giving money to parties according to the number of MPs you have. And actually, uh, per MP almost every a party gets a hundred million for from an MP that you have in parliament. If you have one, you get about a hundred million. If you have five, you get equally th that. So yeah. that's why uh, per year for a whole year. Yes. So the parties have money and can use that money in a manner that uh, can help liberation. So we were indeed happy that the defiance person was uh, uh, in charge of the party. And I don't see how we could then undermine <laughs> the person. Because some people even have been saying that I, I maybe want to become the party leader again. I can never become the party leader of FDC again. Because our constitution actually only allows two terms. 
you cannot serve more than twice. Although I never completed any one term, but there were two terms in which I served. So I can never be uh, a party leader again. So the point is we had contradictions. They did not lead to a divide. So what has led the divide when now Amriat is at the leadership of the party? That's why I want to go. First, first. NRNSC, Bonibe, Obu, Esu, Obu, Kule Mugisha Muntu, Osori Nesi, Eilanya. Ama Matthew Nisinapolo, Potkeso Pedosi, Aswa Mkape Team. Osori Dabu Nesi, Ego, Emu Muntu Kule Nandala Mafabi, Oponi Lanyi Nandala Mafabi, Opazi Nesi, Aswa. In every Nesi Dabu Bonibe, Aja Asi, Iti Muni Yare, Defiance, in a silocage, or solid of a yellow, a moon to Lajas edit on a cup at honorable Alice Alasso, honorable Angeli, honorable Arico, honorable Ochola, in cooling honorable Ibualu, Mamo Porto, in a petty gangata, a poor Aramuriat. The Dokani a quesile bakai, a rocco, a timulo catonga, a so boo or lot a ganga, a poor Narai agiritesi. Ale moro na hausi uh, um, 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 karamu seven. Egi limit only car. Agirit. So ibo rengine so bu oina doctor besi ya bo moon. Au pile kore po abe mam. Erimosi do berone Uganda kere. Anyon da bon baby. Pedoro neti kokin. Ale moro na kwa ni ayan bu kana le marikar. In ineri nesida. Bo pot kwe sop o potu to nine so roti. Egwa ikini erale la deden. Ila jeti a gas esuli pui tuto se gwa kita arrow square. It's a guy kita i er um um I was er eri amuno ni. In every bonesi kapa nesi, be mamu nesi a minute a power right to undermine. Nara in nesi ada unake tamu. Na nesi ya na kini kape pata presidenti lo FDC. So itunga idis lumame misi kitos alo skine tena ajata requesti. I mean na anu na bumi pedo requesti e kamu na pugan. Kere kapa itimu mamu abaka ibe defiance a a remun tu bon aja ikwesi epege to party iswa mai te kwesi kapa nyo itimu doda abo binet bo bonesi no epo boni be alos kine te na jai na no inobu oina kikwesi achamu aramu ya talo ajai ot 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 otimu kech oya ite e section one lo a security la yuara. Ara ya poa ni sing, ya ita yuwara uti mwalo katonga. Ujazi da buboko de information la rai very sensitive anu operation ni keche ngoni kere. So imame kwesi kwa nali mwenbe no. Bitu nga beri luhu lue basi mwenbe ingitos kwesi e poa. Aibaje e poa. Obu e poa odumu avote na tomona kanyi. Aseo ngini. Mbaka imu nibi bigot 15 votes so tesa ni. Eso bu odumu. Igwe kina aseo ngini. Aseo na yao uneskape president. Mami tungala anelu ipuwa poto chakata. Arabo iso kati western Uganda ngina nkole. Arai acholi. Arai buganda. I mean political parties. Mama ina nikini kapun. Konyene kama ra umugisha muntu. Aina nikino kati. E, 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 Patele jasko de MP. Edo pet. Aina ino milo nina kwa tata. So iji hata nijoko de MP si tomono. Aina nojo 1 billion plus. So tupita tekone namba. Lo MP si lejasa hii. I rub it in a pollen. So, a person I have to be a party. A mama is rigging. Mamu, I na nikino political party se fundi. The do kwani kama si lu lu amuriat lu amugisha muntu. Odumu olomu ni kwano potunti moni of funding. Nesi ni eba la nesi bonbe. Nesi mama si aji anu amaria is rigging. Konya a person no I have to raise the party. A mo inesi a nyunda bonbe gogo gore party. Do di rigging elu. Esa ya utuati ya kati yaka individual singuni. Lu e, e, grupu lo oda kaje. Kwenye neseba la nesebo nime mamu. Aja ya kwesati ya kati yaka sekida angini. Kwenye mamu alo mutotunga. Apedo tosu kwesi epegeto e, e, tupite te. Aijene na haku wa opinion. Katonga ne usode esu ngina. Kwenye mamu bu idele leu. Ado ketaiti ngina. Ara ide seo nepo waka pre, e, president. Obu opai kiswa manara kudi kwesi defiance. Aja inesi ngino office ngoni. Iswa manara ngini pak. Ama mene toro nitikuwa nibonbe. Begurupulo eserono. 
dodo kwa ne atun sina ija ina na lomu elomut otupitete itungalu amamus achama na dodo kwa ne balaboni be e position ko si lo kapali pati bilos kwa ni so aso amado keta itina satekel e murono o waike ija ikinesi akira uni na sodi te balanesi a para sa ke no ya itoresi e pate ama me funding for compliance and defiance e so amanara kapitimu ama machi katiaka na uniet e balanesi bara ide dukun the people's government a je po ada to mapuga ninyen na duku to si kwesi aswam se mame ibore ne baka ida bonbe kwesi e supported general muntu against him who later felt that uh, they were not being treated fairly and uh, started complaining and uh, and eventually uh, they moved out of the party uh, and uh, those include of course as you know the honorable Alaso Sege and other people who were here they moved out of the party feeling that they were they had no justice and space for them to operate. Uh, that was a, a loss. It did not affect the party very much. The party remained strong. But, uh, you know, any leaf that goes off uh, the roof, any grass that goes off the roof uh, affects uh, what is happening there. Now, so the problem that eventually caused this major crisis we have came because in 2018, that was one year after Amri had came into office, I called all the leaders of the party to inform them in advance that I will not be a candidate in 2021. And I gave them my reasons and told them that the reason I was informing them that early was that they should select a candidate for 2021 very early since this will be a new person so that that person can be popularized well ahead of the elections. That meeting took place at a Catholic center in Namugongo called Choto. 2018. Unfortunately, they did not go ahead to follow it up and choose who would be a candidate in 2021. So when 2020 came, these people came back to me in the Kasangati and said, we don't have a candidate. We are sorry you have to be a candidate again. And I said, no, I will not be. And again, I gave them my reasons. And this went on for some time, going and coming back to put pressure on me to become a candidate. When it was clear to them that I was not going to be a candidate, then we started, they started now. This was now uh, coming to mid of 2020 for the election of 2021, where the nomination actually happens in 2020. So uh, they, uh, together, and this happened at my house, not, not in the party, but at my house, in a consultation, we said now the best thing is, you, Amriat, you are the party leader. Since nobody was prepared in advance, you have no choice. You have to put on your... Your, shoes. your boots <laughs> and, 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 move. and go uh, and we all agreed we said that even to create uh, momentum uh, first move around the country with the chairman Birigwa mm. as a primary contest so that you campaign amongst all our people it gives you exposure and so on and you may have seen both Ambassador Birigo and, and Amuriat moving across the country. But we had already agreed that Amuriat should be the candidate. But 
Following that, they came and said, now we don't have money for elections. And indeed, I know that elections, as I've told you, it has already been constructed. You need a lot of money to conduct a, to conduct a campaign. They said, now, since you were a campaigner before, show us how we get money. And I told them that it is not easy to get money for a candidate that has not popularized himself yet. Because Amri Atado, for all the years, been campaigning on Rinteso. He was not known even in Uganda. And so getting support, getting people to fund a candidate that is not well known, is not easy, and I explained to them. And suggested to them that the best approach, rather than looking for money as just FDC candidate, let's look for support for opposition candidates. We unite opposition and say we want support for the opposition candidates. And especially that we fundraise together with the candidate of Noob, who was more known and, uh, and uh, uh, we could jo create a joint fundraising approach. That's where the problem started. They said, I want to sell FDC to Noob. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is still being talked about, that, uh, that now you see, BSJ is undermining us, he wants to, to, to bring a noob into this. And, um, and I said, but how will you raise money? Because we need, if we are to raise money, uh, you, people give money to a candidate or to candidates. So, if we create a joint force not that one gives up candidature for the other. No, both are candidates, but they are candidates facing the military. And we can call supporters that we want liberation, support all these candidates to liberate Uganda. That is a, an easier sale. They completely refused. Uh, and uh, it was... A little while later that, uh, you know, these stories of money started coming. Mm. That, uh, you know, money has now come uh, from somewhere. Uh, what they call the dirty money. <laughs> what is now popularly known as the dirty money. Yes. Please understand that even, and, and that's the reason I don't talk about dirty money myself. Because that is not the real problem. Even when money has come, it can be used for the purpose for which it was, for the liberation. Uh, so the question is not the money, but how it is applied. Yes. All right, Doctor, uh, before you get to that uh, critical point, uh, let me first check time, then we shall bounce back. Time check on I think there is water in there. might be water. It's about finished it. It's finished. We have the box. Yesterday and today, everybody comes to the car to look for water. You know, throat was hot. Hot today again. Mm. Very it was hot. Really hot. Yes. That's why I do the guys who open in the what? Yes. The, 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 but let me, let me ask. Did you do? Did you find out who was who had organized the meeting at um, at, um, at the sports ground? What happened in the morning? Mm -mm, after the morning. No, I have no idea. What are we because. We were being set up yeah. because they had failed to do what they wanted to do in the hall. Yeah. They wanted us to go to and actually give the tear gas. No, mm -hmm. yeah. give the tear gas. 
to have a demonstration against us. But also the time will not allow. You see people here dividing. They can actually use the the, the placards. But the, the main the main demonstration can be loud. The people can be mixed up. That's what I can show you. The placards, you can talk to 10, 15 and stage money and assume that it's a presentation. But there you have the, the traditional references who have the bitterness from the Mokura crisis, from the Kato conversation. Then we bring up the issue of, of you picking money. They feel betrayed. So you can do an in-house no, thing, you can stage money. But uh, the bigger one, I don't think that they can even pay 1,000 people. So even if we had gone ahead with the rally, Perhaps what they would only do, maybe to stay money the patient. Then someone would maybe raise up a hand and ask the referral. And so the one I spoke to was uh, a terms manager. Mm -hmm. PA. Of, of course, a terms has, has also yeah. been very critical. Huh? Yeah. A terms PA. Yeah. A terms PA. I didn't even know. So, <laughs> but now, but now, we are PA. Where is a terms with Pada? He is here with the coach now. You see. There's a very big a contradiction. The, the member of parliament, the former sparring for the South West, he, he's a very big, a big donor to Atana, a financial job. So it's just a matter of time. They will close by the week. And I'm sure one of them will need this group uh, to count the other one. It's just how you guys are going to play your cards. But um, Atan is also on a, a slippery ground. Very slippery. It's just a perception that the sympathy is there. But once they, they blow their whistle, like this tweet, and the candidates increase, op opinion will shift from the by election to the real election. election. Then, of course, on, on, on the other side, Nandana is undermined. That everyone can deliver the whole Kumam vote. Boy is a bit suspicious about everyone. But Nandana is there with the whole heart because of the, the presidential ambition. And everyone has created a situation like this. It's a ping pong of the Kumam. The, the Kumam is here. He that doesn't tell you the Kumam, eh? So he's here. He, he, if I'm lying, he can tell you in your inner circles, who, who, which I don't want to know. Mm. So the perception of, of Nandala is to keep a boy eh? with the, all the things with the assumption he's going to deliver the Kumam what? Vote. But if these people also organize and, and present themselves as a candidate in the West, it will be a different story. So even them, they know what is happening, but they have no choice. If they are off guard, they must admit the situation at hand. Who are the majority? What is the time now? It is a constituency is worse. It is purely the mumam. Then the other one would be for for it. When when do we take calls? Say maybe half past. Maybe half past. Half past. But he so maintain what I've told you. They can also stage manage. No, go go twenty minutes to two. Yeah, not half past. Twenty minutes to ten. Twenty. Yeah, twenty minutes to ten. So we have covered up there. Mm. We are now coming up to the to the money itself. Mm. Yes. yes. The money, yeah. You've not found the part that I've told you. Eh? You have found the part where the <coughs> has gone on too long. Yes, and you can put here the Radio Kyoga 91.5, the most reliable station. We are talking about uh, the unity uniting Ugandans in order for us to benefit as citizens. Now, uh, Dr. Kisa Besje was raising uh, a point that uh, when he was there as uh, the party president, money used not to come. I don't know whether uh, it was not in the constitution that money has to be provided. This time round, we hear about money coming to political parties. No, I think you are, well, again, you are mixing them. The money coming to political parties now, formally from government, mm. is provided for under the law. 
that is very good. It is uh, uh, under the Political Parties Act. Act under NCF. Yes. And it is disbursed through the Electoral Commission. But that's not the dirty money we are talking about. So, uh, you know, following uh, in that period, even before the dirty money uh, <coughs> came up, it's important also to point out that uh, my colleagues came to me and said, by the way, uh, it has taken, this struggle has taken too long. And people are growing old. People have become very poor. And they don't see where it will end. They don't see the, end, the light at the end of the tunnel. And people are defecting one by one. And they pointed out those situations and whose situations had improved. And you know the ones in Teso who, who left us. Uh, from the Agnes uh, Akiror to uh, the Bukedea, uh, now, and you know, what do we, should we do? And they said for, they think we should change approach. Rather than continuing the fight as people, as we lose people, maybe we should change approach and talk to the government as a team, as a whole group and present our demands and negotiate. Maybe we get some, those we don't get, we wait. But we also now continue surviving. Um, and they said uh, even M7 is growing old, maybe he will die uh, and a new situation will come. And I can say without again the fear of any contradiction that I flatly said no. I don't think that's a good approach. I agree with everything you have said, that uh, suffering of opposition people has increased. I agree it has taken a very long time in the struggle. But some struggles are not finished by those who start them. You know, so the people who started the independence struggle we are no longer around when we got independence. But this capture of the state by Museveni is the biggest problem for Uganda. If we don't solve it, if we adjust ourselves to it, then our country is finished. We simply must fight on until it goes down. And, uh, uh, you know, Clearly, they didn't agree with me uh, because, as I have said, later the issues of money came up. We tried to manage that within the party. We held several meetings. This is before the 2021 elections. That money was, in fact, to be used in that election. And that, you know, some, some people didn't see me campaigning in that election. The reason, indeed, I didn't go to campaign is not because I'm against Amuriat or what. I've told you where I came from with him. But we had now developed, uh, because nobody, they did, nobody consulted me about this. Um, we tried to manage it. They were adamant. And so uh, I considered that rather than making, making it an issue that could affect people that are not involved, let me just pull back. We go through the election the way we go through, whatever way we go through them, and then we try to deal with these problems afterwards. And that's what we tried to do. You know, we went through the elections and tried to resolve this thereafter. We held very many meetings. Unfortunately, they did not materialize. And let me say this. I have said that the money in itself would not be a problem. The problem is if the money achieves what the giver wants it to do. And Museveni gives money for two main reasons. First, 
he doesn't want all people he has captured who may be in different parties to work together. He wants each one to remain on their own. And I've told you that the, the, the challenge I got trying to, to unite these groups ahead of the election. So it was clear to me that it was being applied to its purpose. Because we, we uniting people who are all in prison. This, for me, I look at ourselves as all in prison. Whether you are in prison wearing blue, whether you are in prison wearing red, whether you are in prison wearing yellow. Even the yellow people are in prison with us. Some of them don't know. But we are all in the same prison. And so for me, I think that it makes sense for all prisoners, regardless of color, to work together to fight and break out of the prison. That is a matter which they have rejected since that time. I think now indeed very much similar to what General Muntu was saying that they want to build the party, build the structures. <laughs> okay, building the structures is good, but unite with the others to fight. Secondly, is to now demonize defiance. Because some people maybe think that you can go to an election and Museveni will say you have defeated me now and he organizes a handover party at Kololo and Museveni comes and hands over to the winner whether it will be Nandala or whoever he comes and hands over that in my own mind will never happen Museveni will never announce any other person in the election he has organized. And I have told you, all power is held by him. There is no power in the parliament. Let nobody tell you lies that I am going to parliament to, to do uh, work for you. There is no power in the parliament. You have seen soldiers enter parliament and beat up everybody in the parliament. And the speaker of parliament, Kadaga, crying, who beat us? I did not invite anybody to come. You know? So, all power, we must fight to, get, to release the power where it is, which is in with Mr. Museven. Because some people confuse power with offices. Think if I am a mayor, I have power. You don't have power. You can only do what Museven allows you to do. I am a a, 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 a councillor, I have power. No power. I'm an MP. I have no power. You have an office. Not power. Not power. So, uh, the real challenge was not with the money, but how the money was managed. And up to now, that is still the problem. Because subsequently, Rather than managing it within the party st structures, the National Executive Committee, which uh, the party president chairs, stopped functioning, stopped calling it, it never met during this whole crisis. And nobody else has power to call it. What they had agreed on to do was never done. And that's why the party chairman stepped in to try and help to resolve the crisis, to call the National Council, to call the National Delegates Conference. And what happened in those matters, you all know, you saw the party chairman climbing walls when he had been detained in the party. The constitution is very clear, only the party chairman can call a delegates conference. Only the party chairman can call and chair the national council. So, they have created the crisis by not allowing those organs of the party to function. And uh, instead started creating a new structure holding 
holding what they call elections without the proper procedures being undertaken and in many ways selective uh, processes of getting leaders. So the other contradiction then became how to renew the leadership of the party. Whether the elections were held as provided for in the constitution. And I'm sure even here in Teso I have been when I was in Amuria especially, I found people there of who have, they have two leaderships. Some who were selected and some who were elected. And they are all there, you know. So th that confusion, all this confusion, if there is goodwill, it can be resolved. Even now, all this confusion can be resolved. If there is goodwill, there is nothing that cannot be managed. Unfortunately, up to now, I have not seen that goodwill to resolve this. So how do we go forward? Maybe you... And the Red Sea, the Toma, to Southern 18, who are the ones 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 who are Os 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 rekwese kita kina bobo abongo na reke in 2020 enyi tini sibe kwa nini kutoa jiko kape presidential candidate Thomaseo na Nibonit e bala nini sibo nime mama mwa pedori alosi Thomaseo na na ara ni mukiti ngo esuseki be fumi mama mwa losi kwa na jau na i Thomaseo na oge nisa ni mukiti na muri atona chao ke power be kutoa kwa nini jaka kwa nini kin anu aya ngari Ibu pada ngaren, beliau sekarang ini jo aigo anwar saya nak kape president. Kebalan esok baru sekarang ini boleh polo. Imam itu si rigi. Anwar jere kandi itu lo 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 general noi. Beliau si ai 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 tama anu. Oso desa ya ona ke idea na balap emam. Kebalan ini jai nu puda. Yugo ini ni eh jakai tu bobo wine. Balu bonyo mamo ni isamanaro anu dah bon baby duku no ni. In a paper on couple position, Peroni is so manal. Mamma Guru Pumoni law, a power, Obu, or charm. Or Sona Bonesa Mikin, a Mikin, the Dobri Kwani, the Losona Seona, or the Kapaina, and I mam. The Basques be the Kapaina so. O put question out to idea, and I gen and a balabon, the Kutokwani, I own a national charmer. Don't every Mora, Uganda, Kere, and why not in a power. Ajenari. Ojenete na kwesi. Bepoa ni selosi. Abolo bolo. Amunikape president kuni lo FDC. Tomaseo na. Dao nupachi. Obubo nesi nereda bebe. Bebe kwa na kronu. Epolo. Bia ibo kwa ni pero rajo. Adumu ni kapunu unu. Dile lo seta gangaki ni jo. Mamu eti mepoa. Obu ine. Amaiki nesi be. Aibo kwa ni lo so. Aridu muni sirigi. Obubo nesi da in 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 nereba polo oni anyo da bisipo kino oni epolani ara hii kwa ni biro ngoni ari kutoja lo siti aseo ya kutoje kampe ni biro ama mei. Osebo nesi aitingi kwe si bombe inyo kwa ni bore iwa mitijo be inaino nete na kari aseo ara mamo ni rai organize efe singa kwa ni tungali lu arasa organize lu anu plua gogo o o o o nesse lip meeting money a dia um tinha pouco a coisa e sai de dia aí me mamou bu o pedor o pupu não quando é sac a grão na baca aí a poti capu o bu nesse outro ama a grão na nyara não neria muno o ano apu o reking na a noite tama a grão é temo kin mamãe lepo no kenga mamãe tu ganha o copo tu orimasi na bala nesse mo coelho do brinca pulo lu idu muito sério Do jeneta ya suda bonbe, President Museveni, arele mike kapun, aina kini esu, eraike kapun ulu, aitiaka, aitiake pate ngoni, ara itiake esu ulu, utase jie, mamnesi, echama ini tunge muri kikini, apuga ni ke, anu itunga kwa nanyo da bonbe, lo seti itunga jaunu, aseo nebaka free and fair, ijaine seto somi kapun, 
anuko anaweza apiga kini o highlight ya kikapuni inaweza dabo bo ac benyo obunesa tama kapa ni si ai ngiti bedo kwa no rengi na eja ye support oro reda manu akiro no photo chautu kwenye ni si kapa dr besije imame ni satunis ekoleja kaita poa e e bore ne utanes kapa kwapo esa anyu bombe dumne titunga e freedom e dumne uganda aseona in lajara e dumne uganda peros o se bone senere bi muro kititunga i mean boni kere ikote mur kikin oni kiri jai o jera ro prison ari rajolo fdc ari rajolo dp ari rajolo nrm ijai jo prison ngoni lo lo weni tere jo imametako na pedoroso yata sichan sebala nesi bonbe bala ida ngoni lo ile balo ne warden ngoni prison warden era makine sawa ijai nesa ai rami tuma be bolo masolo masolo masitoma Dodo kwa nini bunia bobo e prisona dare e bore constable e remun bo ngonda kwa ne warden be warden olo majo da igo ikine to kwa ni to ni jeda na le rusi tesu alo mari toma e jai ngonda mi ikine toma bolo mas dobere esu ne sebala ne sibon be ba pugana a taker night teso ni pupete radio inerite esi e koto ne morkikena anyu nda bon be ngunu li tepegeta pugan adoketa itana e polo e pedorete ai top nu ai ai na peta nu abeit o o mna wai ngoni lo le so amanar inet na bobonesi be mamerai abeit e bobonesi o jala kamuriat o bonesi iri amun ko de mun o gene sa maiki ni kwese ke che intention be mamunga jawu ase o ne buni o mautu kwa ni esu ingare nun are candidate ngon lelo si erimo Uganda kere ilipite iurianlu o Uganda bose utungo kapa e, 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 um, 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 presidential candidate usada bone sa yaun bobobe ajakiro no aina kitungali pu alunganare e basi tunga bo yanga ikona ujau itepegi it museven a teneru tu kwane neru o ina ino ni positions e bala neso buesi uli memam i yongo kapa besije mamera yoni ipiro la down nyo ijielo kwenye ijielo iloto nen en 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 nerun kam seven mamoni pedo rikwa ni etele car kapo position adum de bero ne strategy le pedo la swam nare kwa ni tungani maritesi bitunga lo poti defect ngati jeneta so jafa akirol jeneta so na polo na irabet e pwetu ngalo poto nyo utu fdc ito na buke ching ni ni ritesi dodo kwa ni tunga lulu fdc lo they were not patient ara iluche la pai kitos ama mati tingine na bala be o let's struggle na camera pugani etete kwa ni tunga be bobore aja na kona se onkape minister obora se onukapa ambassador obora se onukape commissioner lo ase onukapa ara dc se bala ne subon be amamus ko de hope ara muno ngine Eso kwa ina kitunga lipo. Kwa ne ya unete kwenye kwenye upata live DC. Anudo kwa ni kwe salo city. Hei tenga renibe. Aibo de pedote kwa ni kwe si. Aldumu ni bore ninyi amete. Kwenye eke position. Abala nesbe ma. Eko te FDC opaye kimo likikena. Kwenye do kwa nitunga lu. Opoto olimutu. Beji elo. Anga ika oja u. Emame ibori te iso. Age unu in 1996. Ulo siyo 2001, ulo siyo 2006, I mean 2011, 16 now, then 21. Itunga lipe ba sibe, ah, amoja ngongo, imami buradu mutengo. Oja unu kwa ne defection, eja itunga kwa nao momo be, binyo budo kwa ni adu munengo. So, patience, ara, ara, titim, nesima mingare no kolo ipo, eja ata low position. Ema mosu kwe sikode, atitim ngini. Na be no kwa ni jie le stwa gololo Eche generation de pedora anga ringa reni E kama atelo kwa nuna pugani So inete sa kikiro ni pu Da jeni wabesu li pupu peta msugunu Kwa nya nu kwa nitu nga wako lu Okwa pungunu Inete si nu ipu Be mame long longa ngoni La baka ebe powa nyo Nesi berba tamit Ebo inikini kodeda Etima muntu 
Bwe noe boe kilos. Desu ama pa. Mine so ama tane pepe. Kwenye ma mitunga cha mutosi luu epu. Ete ete. Itunga individuo benefite. Basi nga be no. Yonga kutunga lo stadu muni bore. Anga kesu tago la pakina nyo. E woy. Sa teker. Era iberi ngunu. Disi na peroro nge jula kine so. All right, doctor, continue. Yes, I'm, I'm winding up on this point. How do we get out of this situation? Uh, <clears throat> First of all, so there are two things. I have pointed out that the trouble we got into as FDC, it's not just FDC which is in it. DP is in the same problem. UPC was the first one to get into problem. Noob is now in a problem. And if you trace where all these problems come from, they come from where I started. The capture of our country by the family of Mr. Museven. Mr. Museven and Family Limited. That's where all these problems start. So, to get out of this, first of all, I think what the party is doing, consulting the party members on the way forward is a good thing. And they could, it could translate into processes that lead to reconciliation maybe and, and a unified way forward. That is one end, which would be a happy end. It could end in the disagreements being entrenched and generating two different groups. That is another end. But whichever way that disagreement ends, let nobody deceive themselves that Uganda will have a solution to all these problems without removing the source of our trouble. The capture of our country by a family. So that's why the reason for me, the bigger reason for me why I'm moving around this, because the party leaders could have done this uh, themselves. But the reason I move around with them is because they are refugees at Katonga. <laughs> and I consider that the purpose of Katonga, of uniting all Ugandans to rid themselves of the capture of our country, to regain control over our country, is the most foremost and most urgent thing that we must look at. And this is why I am rather disappointed when I hear people talking just about the elections of 2026. Because we know that those elections organized by Museveni will announce him as the winner. The fight must start now. People must be woken up. And this message I especially direct it to the young people. Because we have done our own fights. I am nearly getting to 70, which the, is the year the Bible gives us. We have done our fight. But the young people who are living in a country that is not theirs must quickly organize. And we shall help them to the extent we can to free our country. And that is the most urgent and important message that I move with. It's possible to regain our country, even this year. It's not too late to regain our country this year, if we do the right thing. If not this year, at least next year. But to sleep that you are waiting for an election that <laughs> is being organized by those who captured our country is to really uh, betray the country. So uh, the way forward is, first of all, as FDC, go ahead, let's 
go ahead and resolve the problems internally. But whichever way you resolve them, let's unite every Ugandan, whether you have a party, whether you don't have a party, whether you are you were deceived and you think you are part of the government putting on yellow, it's the time to come. This is not a fight for parties. Liberation is not a, a fight for parties. It's a fight for everyone who is under capture. So that's why the religious leaders must be on the front line, on this front line. The government servants must be on this front line. The soldiers, whom as I have told you, are also captured. I told you Museven started the capture by capturing an area and capturing an area. So the soldiers are captured, are captured and that's why now they are headed by his son. Who will soon maybe, according to his plan, become the commander in chief. So the soldiers must free themselves because they are under capture. And the most worse of, of course, are the policemen who are sent after us. But the policemen, they are the, there is nobody who suffers in this country, public servant that suffers in this country like a policeman, you know, paid very little, no, uh, you know, welfare situation at all, living in terrible conditions, can't educate their children, forced to beg and uh, become corrupt, uh, picking petty money. So all of us must join hands and free our country. It's extremely urgent. If we waste time that we are squabbling between, I don't know whether it's uh, FDC this, FDC that, Seven is happy and putting his leg on the other one and, and sipping his tea. So the less time we spend on these small quarrels, the better. And we focus on the bigger fight that must involve those who are not FDC. And we liberate our country. That's the way I think we need to go. In a written essay, when we omit the FDC, Mamere Patelo, so did at the Rekin Katuri Sena. Na I state a la Pugare Kamal. Conyaba Lessi, Bibore Paul, no better light to Pokapa, a party, the FDC. Na so did a Ripedoro, ni etimona Katuri Sena. A sort on a boom, a swam the pepe. Na yarete balanesi bon, but I da quanning at a corny. Adukum veche grupu. Mame nende rono. Konye balanesi. Be mame ibore ne pedo resu wa maunu. Ene joko. Di kamana kuna seo. Arera imuse veni. E president la kwa panamu. Are ngarenu. Inere da bonesi. Be tunga le ya itos edini. Yara i bishops. Yara i munulu. Ya itos aswam. De de sifo sava. Iswa makala pugani. Also di in the civil society, munu li swa mate kude any geos ane in inera bonesi, but our president say very camera jore. Also the guy ni koke general mozi aswam anyo ni da bonu bi kiari ni munu li pui kamasta. Mami kiari ni munu pe dote kwa mbobo ai muange kisini. Iti miti basi policy loa Uganda. E balada bonu bi policy ni loa Uganda. If 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 bora ina kido munu. Eja, ibore did kitu kidogo. E rai do kwa ni, icha ni kechi. Lumame pedoratare, idweida, ayana rusemero. E ba anese da bo nibe public, ara itunga lu, e, e, ayo mini munu lu, e jasi Uganda. E koto kwe sina, so ito kwe nyutu, anyo da bo nibe, ba pedoroso kechi, e koto, oyu, oyu ngitete. Oso da bo nisa ngetakin, be struggle, are jiele jai, Mama rai ni kamana la kude nesi, ekati besije, ni kamana la kude i Uganda ni sikere na rai atumunak lipo kopa na atumunak lipo, e solo pete kwa ni kikaru, adola kaisa kanyari, yafikiri sa kaisa kanyari, ne balanes da bebo ba ibuli, mamu epata na kwa ni etwe na ijara de parik de parik karumu, arijara da era kiri ringkapa na inaitla subam. So itami tami tesi 
but the younger people are are right to angulu le dishak. E koto kwani omisi kisi. Be nyakare akwa ara pedor na akwa pan o Uganda. E e jakari ni catch. Kunye kwe silu lo amajo ngati kasko. Ma mo ne se pedori e e se jaresi e rimor do kwa na akwa pan akere Uganda. Ili pite ne si tunga adoke na nwe giti gita. Ai tupu ne bala ne si bondo bi tunga. Iyata kino si bakor, iyata kino si loni na kwapu, angaleu, erangaleu da kwa nina etiona dumu. Kwenye kilo ni kama nana kude kwesi, ne remote to kwesa kwapu kere tu consult. Mame rai biti jete kwesi ilwe poa, e jas kwesi da am, am, ameseke. Ba kilo ni kapu, nata amtosi kwesi enere, mama lo munu kengade date mane bo kwe. Bia ipede ro lete mokin, akilo nu, anuitunga li po ameseke. Konya kilo ngunu kere mamu e, e pedore. Neti bonesi, e jiku, e jiku rupu nu iare. Luku wani e jasi. Tomaseo ngini na F. Discata Muria. E banesi ba jiku rupu ni iare. Aja ilo ase utai itunga. Da aja ilo poni bekakini ya bekakini. E kape che guru. E banesi be no kape pate. Mamu ni pedori. Aswa mkuri grupu nulu epu. E, e, Lungari nito se pate. Mame patana. Dobo ili pite nesi Bare pedori Echa mtina chana da kui Kule kwesebo ikine kwapu Osote temoi ni akiro Tomadoke ta itane joko Bo ikino sikuwe sika pepate Mamu nese giriti Osote kwese tamitama akiro Dobo benge takinesi Neri tesi Bare giro to Do kwesi Mamachi Epedote do kwesi da bobo Eswa mao ndobo Eche grupu Kukonye keli pebanesi Walema re dictator musebe Mame patana areti akati akanyo itunga. Ilipi nesibe koti tunga imori kikinusi. Iswa matakati na eteso. <coughs> Ejati e, e, okusonwe poloko. Embale kanol. Mitunga lo teso. Ekote se mori kikini. Kwa apu kere. Eje mori kikina anyu nda bolibe. Mamu apu gana musebe. Epedo renji kokila lo siti. Akonye. Na ara ijasko e, 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 de ationi at, at, sina. E Paul, o waile o epidota likwesi, lui tepe gete, e mori kikini. E jati ya katiaka kidingi nene. Ne yao ni recapul, ne yao ni reposition, ne yao ni riboroli po. Anu kwa na yao ni disunity. Itunge epe gete, otupito siborolu, bekama na kona yongo. E binyadu muni wakapa ngote ole. Seba nesi mekari kansela, nekari MPs, imamusi kuna apu gani. Ile na mea. Mamusi kula pedori. President Museveni. Ese jazi kula ke pedori. Na adale mari. Otunga kere. Yalama. Yalama. About 20 minutes to the top of the hour. I want to bring back to doctor briefly. So that we shall be able to pick calls in a minute. Oh. Thank you very much. I had. I had almost concluded what I wanted to say. The point here is that, you know, the poverty that is everywhere, the suffering, you know, the, the people of Teso used to be the, one of the richest in Uganda. And, uh, you know, they educated people, they had, uh, um, you know, a strong culture that was admirable. Um, their cows were taken, uh, broken down. There have been endless begging compensation. I don't know what. You will not beg. You must go and collect your money yourselves. Take power. <laughs> you, so the solution for all these problems that are there you know, the Kajongs who have been terrorizing all this region. You know, it's not that they cannot be controlled. They are tools that are used to weaken and terrorize people. So you have to be uh, uh, determined, and especially the young people. Everywhere you go, I'm talking to the young people. Because our own time is, 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 is used. You know, even when the country changes, we, it's the young people to, to enjoy it. But 
don't be confused. You know, uh, these elections, I have told you, have been commercialized. Where does the opposition get money to put in elections in order to take power? In fact, when I was here, even for the by-election of our turn, I was, con I was concerned. Because I was here and, and, I, and I got here after a lot of problems. They were laid me in ginger, arrested me in ginger. We had to escape to come to get here. But in that short time I was here, I found people saying that, you know, um, quietly, uh, Alupo was supporting this camp. Uh, quietly, Anita, was, Anita, I think, was supporting openly uh, Ariku. <laughs> and, but these are all, you know, okay, they may, you know, how we get money to fight elections, as I have said, is, can be creative. But the people who give support have, have interests. So elections, to look at elections as the way out of this capture is something we should be careful about. And I'm not saying that we should not participate in elections because, again, some people say BSG is against elections. No. But elections structured the way they are if we are to get into them, we must go there with our own fighting force, which we can only build now. You won't go into the election and build the force within the election. That's why we must build the force now, start fighting now. If the election come before we, we have caused the change, we fight through the election. Not... But now I have heard some people changing talk, saying, you know, if we use defiance, people will be arrested, people may be killed, people may... Yes, we have been in prisons many times. Some of our colleagues indeed have died. But it <coughs> takes pain to get back their country. All right, thank you, Doctor. Let's get to calls. Uh, maybe... Now? Yes. Najari racing a by election Najai. Ajitu mane lu atiakaka. Aji grupu our vice president gangu atan and aji grupu honorable speaker gang de jakari ko. Konyano temite menesi balanesi bonbe okay. Be a be perra uhu posunadum ni kapru. Ane an ere bonesi da bonbe. Mame sera ginesa seo. Ara be be mame se girita seo. Kwenye kwa nabo kwa nitu nabo kwili julete kwa nene. Lose kwa nabo nene. Bonbe nese gite sinyo. Aseo kapa nesi. Kwa nyibo rene bala nesi yeni empolo. Nesa tumunak. Awo momo ni po. Usodo ni e nyiti ni kamana kwa compensation la ituku. Itunga to continue to demand. Anyu na ida bonbe. Losa pugan. Aitachi barene lu makoko ya ne. Kaiboro li po. Lu angara no teso. Ba nesi wa raite eso. Abo isi na somu totori idunga noi. De inono kecheda. Ara ilo esima na rati atitekeri ni nwepo. Na ara rasite so lu apogasi. Konye ationi sina ubu ubu. Esi na kona de marere. O na barangi. E nyaku ndo ni. Ara unu kwa nilu ilipa nare. Esi na bala nesi bonbe. Koto atumu na kakwenyu. Esu le disha. Anyu na bonbe. Base o. Era se o na ejoko. Konye pedo reju lanu. Alamu, Erika Seo, Yalama. Alamu, atake tupio kioga veritas porto lo muno, tido apakane akuto mwaja itwa sam, adere unha inomune simune, tapawa ni pedori, aupani kena omisho ni tete mwane koto mo studio, itwa sama ije namba noti kanyare, 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 kanyo ni kanyango, ni kanyango, wango ni kanyape, kereda jiope, anungo ni ngesi pedora yo, alamu nune wate mo studio, anujo da ikea unu, au misho kon tupte tenu na tete mwane, E polo kakiro no ido hakutonge jau na pupolo so di tane hello veritas yoga noi yoga noi yoga asar yoga tibo ngi kiro aye aye tenera ses kata ulupor ses pita ulupor ses pita you are calling us from where I am calling you from Ngora but I right now I'm in the city because we're meeting a doctor in the north all right your ideas I am the youth chairperson in this youth party. 
Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, I put uh, uh, enough time today to talk with Dr. and Wayne Mokti for that meeting. But we just didn't have enough time to, 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 to give us new views. But I can't wait if we have enough time. Uh, there, are, there are like five resolutions that we might choose one from. Uria Kuria Kadara and Tapija Unicheda. But for me, uh, I would go for two options. Option number one, unite and dialogue and unite. Then option number two is from another family. In fact, Dr. Bessigi and the team, Dr. Bessigi and Amuria, should know that we are, fighting, we, are, we are crying for them. They are the ones holding FDC and our part of FDC, we are fighting for FDC. This is the battle we have hopes in. And if this battle goes down, we shall uh, 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 make them accountable. accountable. Even our own children will be following them with this. So they should have a solution for us and the solution should come very fast. Because I am this is who? This is Omolodio from Opio. Oh, Omolodio from Opio, okay. Yes. Yes, you are, you are, you are, you are take on this. Uh, I wanted to show, uh, this is my view about what the doctor said. Mm, mm. Yes, I was saying that, okay, uh, we are not the only ones who are fighting for the Good evening to you. How are you today? I'm okay. Yes. Are you good for me, Dr. Peter? He's already listening. Me and Richard. My brother. I'm going to talk about. so much uh, Richard let me get another person yes hello yoga no yoga no harapa yes What did he say? Uh, say that uh, the, by the time you say that uh, you are now coming to unite the two, the, actually the Katonga and the, the party of FDC that is in there in Najana Kumbi, that uh, where were you before uh, uh, before that time to talk about to talk about to, to talk about unity by then? Then now you come and clearly say you are now you now want to unite the party. Veritas. Hello. Hello. Yes, Edonyu. Hmm. Yes. Mm.
is calling us from Cabremaido for him he says what is FDC in Nanyarakumbi and what is FDC in Katonga don't you think that you are giving uh, Mr. Museveni chances to rule Uganda for years hello last one now yes hello. how are you uh, yes Yalama no yakaiti ochuli alomu. Eh, Yes. And he wanted, uh, uh, you're gonna, yes, he wanted, uh, he wanted the uh, Honorable Chule to, to do that translation. That is according to him. Yes. Okay. He's saying, Dr. Bessie, that the, the assumption you have of power in not being popular is a lie. Not being popular. Yes, countrywide. Mm -hmm. And he stated clearly that in, in, during the time of the reform agenda, there were the ones who actually popularized you in the region, you were not popular, as they have also stated. And so therefore, it's important you work out a, a message outside the criticizing President Museveni of, uh, of always declaring himself as a, as a winner. So why did, uh, do you participate in that election that you know the outcome? In, in brief as that. Yeah, that's what he's taking. All right, about four minutes to the top of the hour. That will be 10 o'clock. I want us to get back to the studio uh, to answer some of those few uh, questions and uh, also see a way of winding up our discussion of today. Very well. I think that I, I am grateful to all the callers and the messages they gave. Um, first, Mr. Rupert and the gentleman from Marapai, I think. We are talking about uh, dialogues. To reunite and uh, uh, the gentleman from Marapa he was asking where we are we were not to start dialogue or to unite the party and we are now starting now he must not have listened to me the one of Marapa because I told you that we did what we could from the time before the last election. We held meetings before the last election. We held very many meetings after the elections. We did not succeed. And um, we can talk about why we did not succeed. But the point is that every effort was undertaken, but we did not succeed. I am not saying that no new effort should be can can be made and may succeed. Uh, it has been raised that more effort should be done, and that's the point of uh, Oluport. He says that more dialogue should be engaged, and uh, I think even the Omolot 
Molodio. Mm, Molodio, yes. Molodio also uh, was keen on dialogue. Uh, and uh, the party, I'm sure, will launch a process that can exhaust that channel. Uh, because that's the reason we indeed we are moving around, getting ideas from the party owners who are the members of the party. All right. So everything should be done uh, to uh, ensure that, you know, any possibility of, make, of maintaining the party is done. And I have heard people, you know, talking about how they have suffered for the party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you also value my own suffering for the party. I don't know how many times I have been in prison, I have been shot, I have been uh, uh, tried on capital offenses, I have gone to exile for four years living in exile, is not easy. So there is no, uh, if, if you talk about suffering for the party, I think I would be the last person to want to see FDC destroyed. But, uh, uh, you know, um, if uh, the party was formed for a particular objective, liberation, if the party fails to liberate us, then we, we still must have liberation. And that is why, you know, um, the main point here is <laughs> FDC was not undivided, was not divided for 17 years. It was not divided. It was one FDC and a strong FDC. But even then, I have told you that we set up Katonga to unite our effort with the effort of all other Ugandans. So FDC by itself is not the medicine for liberation of Uganda. We must unite with everyone, whether political or not political, to liberate the country. Right, and so, and so, while this squabble is going on, it should not stop the process that is needed to liberate the country. And right. that's why we are moving. Right, Dr. Uh, lastly, lastly, John, yes. Uh, there was a, a, a gentleman who talked quite obviously like Anenari Mufero, the one who was talking about power was popular, he popularized me. If power popularized me, I am grateful that he popularized me. But this is not about me. This is about Uganda. Whether I am popular or not popular, what we want is a free Uganda. And we should not look at individuals. Tomorrow I may be dead, or even tonight. So th this is not about me at all. It's not about power at all. And of course, if he was popular, you know, uh, he, he was our presidential candidate, you know. And, uh, and that uh, popularity indeed uh, had an opportunity to be tested. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you very, very much for uh, uh, listening to us. The struggle-free Uganda is uh, a tough one, and uh, we must not give up. We must remain strong. There will be confusing agents who are propaganda coming all over the place. We must defeat the propaganda. We must defeat those who invest in dividing and causing us to conflict. We must defeat their money, which they, they have captured in the whole country and used to cause problems amongst us. We must defeat fear and take back our country. For me, I can promise you that as long as I breathe, I will remain on the front line, whether alone or whether with others, until our country is free. I thank you and God bless you. God bless Uganda. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I wanted, uh, lastly, as we wind up, uh, from...